How is everybody doing? It's Christmas Eve 2020. Um, it was a long year. It was a short year as well. <laughs> I can't make up my mind about it, but it was the year of the deadly virus that they're still bleeding on about. And uh, it was a strange year. Um, anyway, to make a long story short, I'm going to check out this Wilkinson Sword Classic Double Edge um, razor that I found while I was shopping a few days ago. I also bought some soap. Um, this I've had before. Um, it used to come in a blue tub. I also bought a, an aftershave stick. Um, yeah, I tried to get a Wilkinson brush but I couldn't find one and I actually did try about 10 different places and I couldn't find one. Um, unfortunately it would have been nice to um, use all Wilkinson. But that's my main fear is it? So let's check this out. So it's beautifully chromed. And there's actually a nice bit of weight in it. As you can see it's a TTO twist to open. Uh, these are really cool for beginners um, because they're very simple to use and they're safe. Um, as you can see here, it's um, close comb. Reminds me very much of the uh, Gillette butterfly razors. And there you go. So um, I'm going to perform a shave with it and see how it fares. There's also a pack of five blades included and I'm going to use one. Um, I am not a Wilkinson sword fan. Um, these were made in Solingen, Germany for some time. I'm not sure if they're still made there now. On the box it says um, distributed by Wilkinson sword, Solingen, Germany. But I think uh, they're all now by Edgewell. Uh, so let's load it up and prepare. So oh, it's very easy to use a TTO. Um, you just open it up, take your blade out of the paper, like this. You pop it in and you screw it closed. This is as simple as it gets. Okay, so, okay, we're good to go. Let's go. Oh, right, uh, let's get on with it. Um, or as Geo Fat Boy says, let's get the shave on. Um, while I was showering, I used some Parasso pre shave. I like this stuff, been using it for a long time. Almost gone, I've got more on the way. Um, also, I got this yesterday. Tabac, it's a um, shower gel and aftershave. I like Tabac, it's kind of old school, very kind of 70s, uh, nice touch. So, after a lot of uh, hot cloths, I'm good to go. Um, here's my small brush, bore, haven't used it for a long time. And uh, this is the uh, Wilkinson. Wilkinson soap has a perfume smell to it. Some people who don't like too much scent probably wouldn't like it. Um, I'm also going to buy some Taylor of Old Bond Street soon. I think um, Royal Forest, I think I'm going to go for. And Mr. Taylor. The only one I've ever had is um, avocado, which kind of smells like a cucumber. Right, so here. Nice lather. 
and uh, let's go. First pass is with the green. Feels very mild, but don't be fooled. It's actually doing a good job. Very mild. There's not much feedback from it. Heavy. I also noticed that Wilkinson. I've brought out a Chevette in the same range. Never tried a Chevette. I have a straight razor, um, but I need to uh, get it sharpened and honed. Feels pretty mild compared to the R41 and the Fat Tip, which are my favorite. Uh, and speaking of Fat Tip, I've just bought um, a Fat Tip slant from um, a vendor in Spain. Um, never had a slant and uh, I always wanted to buy one. So that'll be interesting. Hopefully I'll have it next week or early in the new year. So um, first pass. That's pretty good, pretty close. And the uh, Wilkie was quite good as well. Um, like I said, I used Wilkies before. Maybe when I started off the shaving in late 2011. Um, nearly a decade now, but didn't like Wilkie's. Uh, yeah, but that's quite good. Okay, so uh, let's go and do the next pass, and that's going to be across the grain. Mm. See, that's a good thing about the R41 and the fat tips. They're very, very quick to um, deliver the goods. But they're aggressive, and a lot of people don't like that. There's a fat tip um, crow's comb that was on. But um, there will be no point in me buying that because I'm sure it's going to be too mild. Very smooth. Beginner would handle this no problem. It's a lot better than the Wilkinson black plastic razor. That you can buy. Mm, it's kind of a razor you'd use if you were really stuck. Handles the moustache quite well. Uh, my stubble is quite hard. It's 
But I must say, I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. I'm mainly a Purassel guy. I love Purassel soap. There you go, that's, that's pretty good. Very good. And finally, I'm gonna go against the grain. This stuff smells quite good. Got a kind of a shower gel smell to it though. I can't believe I've been the shaving since 2011. Um, it's been a while since I did some videos. I did one um, I think last year when I shaved off a three month old beard with um, an R41. That was interesting. But uh, you know, I don't really buy any gear. It, uh, Recently I kind of got back into it. Uh, when I say back into it, I just started buying a new product. Um, it's nice to change. You know, you don't need much. I bought too much stuff starting out. Um, you know, no point buying too much cheap stuff and cheap blades because sometimes they're useless. I found the uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, St. Petersburg blades pretty good. Uh, the Gillette brands uh, are quite good. Um, some Lord blades are good, but um, I guess Feather is the best. But um, you know they're the most expensive. But you know you're getting what you're paying for. Um, this is that's actually quite good. Uh, I can't fault that shave at all. Might take a little longer with this, but still, for a mild razor. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, I think I paid 16 euros for this. Uh, they vary. I've seen it for a little bit more. I don't think I'd buy the shave yet though. It's coming in around 20. So, uh, Damn, that's smooth. Mm. I'm amazed. It's a good razor. That's it. I'd say I'm, uh, I'm done. There's no more to shave. It's a damn good shave. Okay, so uh, yeah. Um, tiny nicks there I think uh, I always find with mild razors I can go a little bit too hard maybe but other than that not to write home but I feel it with the stick um, put the stick on for a bit I've also been splashing lots of cold water on my face to cool it back down the stick is a um, type of alum I guess it's astringent there's a little sting of it I like it um, yeah, so there you go. Ah. 
So yeah, I'm looking forward to the um, the fat tip slant. I'm also toying with the idea of getting um, a mool Rocco stainless steel. Heard a lot of things about him. I'd be going for the full stainless steel model. Um, expensive, but it's supposed to be quite good. Cross between the uh, DE eighty nine and the R forty one. Nothing beats the R forty one. I wish they made the R forty one in um, stainless steel model. I'm just always a bit um, nervous that I'll drop it because they crack. Then again, you know you buy another one. So, ah. so that's it. That's um, a good shoe. Very very smooth. Um, I don't think it's a razor I'd be using all the time because it's just a little slow. Compared to the um, Fat Tips and the uh, R41. But uh, it's a nice surprise. Um, next, Aftershave Parasso. Love this stuff. They make the best stuff, I think. It's a great price. There you go, that's the um, Wilkinson Sword TTO, pretty good, um, highly recommend it if you're going to start DE shaving in 2021 and um, yeah, nothing wrong with it at all, you probably get years out of it, it's nicely done and um, so that's it, that's all I gotta say. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, uh, feel free to subscribe. And thanks for watching and take care. Oh, and by the way, you can't go wrong with an old splash of tabac. Um, I don't really put aftershave on my face. A little bit down here. Um, you know, I don't like putting alcohol on my face. Um, just a little bit behind the ears and stuff like that. Um, so. And uh, on the wrists. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Just thought I'd share that with you. So, thanks for watching. Take care.